Hello everybody, this is our last day of this week and we've been uh, reflecting on the wilderness as a place where God meets us. Not just the physical wilderness, the desert, we know that those are places of great silence, but also in those times in our lives that we will often describe as wilderness experiences, when it seems that God was very far away. And in retrospect, we realize that far from being far away, God was actually very near. And we learnt to know him, not as a God who is absent, but a God who is silent. And that we have to be still and really listen in order to hear his voice. Now, David, King David, he was a man who spent time in the wilderness. Read some of the Psalms, and it's clear from some of those beautiful poems that he writes that his imagery is drawn from the desert. For instance, you remember where he writes in Psalm 42, as the heart pants, as the heart or the deer pants for, for water, so my soul longs after you, O God. And in that psalm, he speaks about having been out there in those wilderness places against his will. He didn't want to be there, but that's where it was, where he was. And so he's trying just to give expression to this longing, longing, longing for God. And uh, he probably saw a few wild animals. And what are they doing? They're looking for water. And he sees them just marching around the desert looking in every shady spot for something to drink. And David says, as those deers, as thy bok for lung, for, for living water, so my soul longs after you, O God. I like that. I like that. The heart's yearning for God. Our hearts are restless says the great Augustine, until they find rest in you, O Lord. So, a thought for the day. Remember David out there, longing, longing to know God. And such is our thirst for him. It's like drinking water in a dry and thirsty land. God be with you.